In this tableau tip, I'm going to show you how to calculate the distance between any two points. As an example, we have routes between different airports in the United States. When I hover over one of the marks, I can see the distance between the two airports. Previously, you would have had to calculate the distance between two points using the great circle distance formula, and it used to take 22 steps to get it to work. However, there's now a distance function in Tableau that makes this much easier. The data set that we're looking at is one that I've built that I've shared on data.world. You can find the link to the data in the description for this video. You'll notice we have information about both the origin and destinations of the airports. When you're trying to measure the distance in Tableau, you have to make sure that the origin and the destination are both on the same row of the data. So for example, I have my origin airport and my destination airport on the same line. I then have my origin latitude and longitude and my destination latitude and longitude. Now notice that the, the latitudes and longitudes are all text. So I'm gonna go ahead and change all four of those to be decimals. So now let's go into the view. The way that I like to do this is in multiple parts. First, I'm gonna create a point for the origin. Then I'm gonna create a point for the destination. Then I'm gonna create a line connecting the origin to the destination. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and calculate the distance. So let's start with the first step. We're gonna create a new calculated field and I'm gonna call it origin. I'm gonna use the make point function and I'm going to pass to it the origin latitude and the origin longitude. Hit OK. And if I double click on that, you can see these are all of the different origin airports that are in the data set. I'm going to repeat that step for the destination. So let's create a new calculated field and call it destination. And again, we're going to use the make point function and we're going to pass this time the destination latitude and the destination longitude. Now that we have those two points, we can go ahead and create a line between them. So I'm going to create another calculated field that is my path. For this one, I'm going to use the make line function. And the make line function, you have to pass two points to it, which is why I created the points separately. So first, I'm going to pass the origin, because that's the starting point, And then I'm going to pass the destination. I hit OK. And then if I double click on the path, you'll see I now get all of the airports, the, all of the airports connected to all of the other airports in the data set. I'll go ahead and shrink the size of this down as far as it'll go so we can see the lines a bit better. And notice down here on the bottom right that we have just one mark in the view. Because this, the path is a spatial object, Tableau has only created one mark so far. So we need to tell Tableau that each one of these lines is a different route. So let's take the route field from our dimensions and drag that onto the detail shelf. And now we'll go from one mark to 37,042 marks. So those are all of the individual routes that we have in the data set. Okay, in the tooltip, I'm gonna to go ahead and put the origin airport and the destination airport. And now when you hover over, you can see a bit better the origin and the destination. All right, so we have that, and now that we have the origin and the destination calculations, we can go ahead and, and calculate the distance. So I'm going to create another calculated field. I'm going to call it distance, and Tableau has a function called distance. And it requires us to pass two points to it, so let's pass the origin and the destination. And then we need to pass the units, so you can either do kilometers or miles, but you put it inside of single quotes. So for sake of argument here, we can go ahead and create it as miles. Let's put that onto the tooltip. And then we should be able to see the distance for every one of these routes. So it's in miles. Okay, now to make this look a bit better, we could then maybe take the distance field and let's go ahead and filter this. And let's say we only want to look at routes that are between zero and 500 miles. And our map starts to look quite a bit different. Again, I like to create the calculations for the origin and the destination, and then create both the path and the distance calculations. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day.